Hey guys, Arthur here. Today in this video, I would like to show you how you can exchange um, US dollar value into some cryptocurrency in your Solidity smart contract. So here you can see uh, that we have a contract called exchange rate and I created a function that is called Matic price. Now I want to pass a sense. So for example, if I would like to convert $1 into the Matic, I will pass just 100 just to represent the sense. And then this function should return me value of um, Matic. Matic is a cryptocurrency, um, native cryptocurrency for Polygon. It's quite popular. However, this example would work for any cryptocurrency. Um, so the problem with the smart contracts is that we cannot just make a regular HTTP call like in regular Web2 world. I'm not able to fetch some information about the conversion rate from CoinGecko or some marketplace. However, what I can do is that I can use the oracles. Oracles are some special uh, smart contracts that can deliver information to other smart contracts. So it's super useful uh, in DeFi protocols and in DeFi products that you can have some smart contracts that are still able to fetch what is current exchange rate from ETH to USD and so on. You can check a lot of uh, oracles that are existing on the official Chainlink website. Today I will just use uh, some test oracle that is deployed to the Mumbai, which is a Polygon testnet. And here, as you can see, this is a just regular smart contract. It just have an address, it has some interface, and we can read um, information from that smart contract. So for example, the latest answer is that that's um, the current exchange rate um, from um, dollars uh, to the Matic. So as you can see, one Matic is about 0 0.78 uh, US dollars. And this is exactly what this um, Oracle is uh, returning. However, the format is a bit weird because uh, the values in the um, Ethereum ecosystem world are super big because we have the, the, the way uh, denomination of Ether. So if we would like to represent one Ether, that's the way. So we have to make sure that these um, values that are returned from the oracles and the values that we are passing as a parameter to the Matic price function are aligned with that. So first of all, uh, I will not make any calls to the oracles. I will just uh, simulate that the Oracle returns some value and then we will uh, fix it in the in the second. So first of all, I will just create current uh, fiat price, uh, which is exactly this value that um, this Oracle is returning. And now, um, because uh, this is this format is the denomination of eight decimals, I will just uh, make sure that it's uh, on the way. So we have a bit more digits here. So I will just multiply this by 10 to the power of 10, just to be sure that the current fiat price is in the denomination of uh, way. Uh, then we can take the cents. So it would be again uint fiat price and uh, it would be uh, fiat cents multiplied uh, by one uh, by 10 to the power of uh, 16. The reason why it's 16 is that we have here cents. If we would have here just the US dollars, we would uh, multiply it uh, by uh, 10 to the power of uh, 18. Uh, however, I think it's just easier to have sense here because we don't have floats. And if I would like to calculate uh, $1.20, then it's just easier to pass. So we have the fiat price and now we can calculate um, the, um, the Matic. So um, it would be uint Matic uh, equals two and that would be the fiat price. And that would be um, again, um, multiplied uh, by 10 to the um, 18th um, uh, power. Uh, and then we'll just divide it by the current fiat price, which is this value uh, that would come from uh, the Oracle. And then we can just return it. And that would be uh, the price in Matic. Uh, so here is the error, um, the fiat sense, uh, it's just sense, right? Um, so I will just copy it 
and let's deploy this smart contract here and let's see uh, how this works. So um, I have um, sense, which would be, for example, um, let's calculate uh, 12 bucks. So it would be 1,200 in um, cents. And that's this big value. But if we would convert it um, in this from way to the ether, you can see that it's 15 point something. Um, and if I would just convert it using this conversion, you can see that it's almost the same. So um, this is this is how you can um, exchange rates. However, you can see that still um, the exchange rate is actually hard coded. So right now what I will do, I will just um, have here some variable, which I will name um, the um, Oracle address. And I will just copy here the address of uh, this Oracle. Um, and just store it on this variable. Um, and now we have to read somehow um, this um, current exchange rate from the Oracle. And the way how we can do it is just call this Oracle a smart contract. In order to call, to call it, uh, I will just create the interface. So our um, smart contract knows what is the um, Oracle interface, right? And then inside it, uh, I will just take the function and I will actually copy um, the um, exact structure of this function from the code of this Oracle. So for example, if I go here, um, I can just look for the latest uh, answer and you can see that it's just a function that returns int. Um, so I will copy it um, here that way. Um, we have the interface and then this part I can basically change with the Oracle Oracle address and then of course uh, the latest answer just we can call this function that way and we can store it and now before deployment I will just make sure that we don't have any errors so for example um, we don't need unsigned integers because unsigned integers is uh, something below zero and also um, above the zero and of course if we are calculating prices we don't want anything below zero so I will just calculate it that way and because we are accessing some uh, memory of this contract we cannot be longer pure it is the view function so now I think we can deploy it of course we have to deploy it to the network that has this Oracle um, deployed so I will just um, deploy to the Mumbai here I will select the MetaMask and I will deploy it and now again 12 bucks so I hope you learned something new. Um, I think using oracles, it's really interesting if you would like, for example, have some kind of checkout. So if you would like always to charge uh, equivalent of uh, 12 bucks in some cryptocurrency, then you can use this logic in your smart contract. Let me know what would you like to see on this channel. And if you like the video, feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks and see you again.